Good morning guys and welcome back to New Game Plus. Today I'm coming with a big update and it's regarding, yes, as you guys can see here under my background, it's about the JIT streamer. As you guys already know, you probably saw my latest video, which is this one. Where I made an update almost like a month ago for uh, the JIT streamer because they were having, uh, you guys were having issues when you follow my original video. So I make an updated video or how to um, set up the JIT streamer on your iOS device and um, this video did pretty well and it helped you set up your your device to run some of the applications needed to use with the JIT but recently um, you probably guys have seen that this video which is my latest one you're seeing this the JIT streamer is not is nowhere to be found um and the website is now loading properly so the issue with this is the going forward this they're gonna be moving to the main uh to their own app which is basically gonna give you the same benefits as jet streamer and it's gonna be the same as all store so as you guys saw all my previous videos i'm gonna have it right here on the screen so you guys can see it if you guys saw my previous videos, I, I show you how to silo apps using also how to use the uh, Alt Store, um, Alt Jet to lo uh, to execute some of those emulators and use those JIP in order to run properly. That that was all using Alt Store in in the tutorial as well is using the JIT streamer to actually like run those app and some of those emulator I, I made some a bunch of videos on them is like you guys can see right here the dolphin emulator the play the patient to emulator the flycast and so many other applications that requires to use those and like i said going forward they, they're gonna move for their own app the own app that they're working on and it's been out for a while it's called size store this app, I uh, started using it uh, yesterday fully, and I did some tests to make sure everything was working perfectly fine. And this app is amazing. It's the same as All Store, but in my opinion, is a is a lot better because of everything I'm about to show you today. So, Side Store is also an alternative to the App Store. So, you, like I said before, so you can sign up your app. And the best part of this is that you don't, you don't need to have any jailbreak device and you don't need a computer after the initial setup. So right here is the main reason why this app is amazing. You don't need to use a computer after the, the initial setup. Why? As you guys know, if you use Alt Store when you silo the app and you're using your Apple ID, a regular Apple ID has a seven day period for the apps to run as you guys can see right here in this picture after those seven days the app will expire and you will have to refresh the app before it reaches seven days otherwise the app is going to be unusable unless you have a developer account which is a pay app, uh, apple id for developer which is a hundred dollars a year and instead of those seven days you're going to have 365 days that's why in some of my videos you see that i have 365 days but currently i'm not using a developer account so i'm using a a free account at the moment so that's the thing with all store and you guys know for you to be able to refresh your app, you need to be on the same network as your all store server so meaning you need to be on to refresh those apps with side store which is amazing you only need to set it up one time you gotta and you could refresh the app itself using those apps without having to be on a computer or be on the same network as your computer which is uh, amazing and this is a, the major major difference between all store and side store and not only that remember about the jib using jib streamer you needed to connect to a private server using zero tier to connect and then um run the shortcut and run those app well you could do all of that it's the same as out store but both side store does it a lot better the reason being is they have the uh, the own server run running through a uh vpn called uh, wirecard which you install on your device and from there 
you connect to the service and inside of that you could do all of the refreshes well right now i'm going to show you after giving you the long introduction and the difference between them how to set everything up first of all you need to go here you need to go to the side store website then you're gonna go when you go go down here onto the download section I recommend you to be in your iOS device where you're gonna do this, or your uh, your iOS device, your iPhone, your iPad. To do this will be a lot easier because you're gonna need those files. You're gonna need those files are gonna be available locally to install. So when you go here in the download section, you're gonna go to the downloads. You're gonna click on here, and you're gonna click on the latest nightly API. I know there's different options on the top, but the one that I'm testing right now that is giving me zero issue and is work, it working the way it's supposed to work is this one right here. So make sure you download the latest nightly API and it's going to be start downloading here. <coughs> Ignore this right now, but you do need to have all store already installed on your iOS device and you need to have all server running on your device. On your computer because remember you need to use a computer for the first time to set this uh so this something you need to have this running right here which is the all server if you don't know how to do that i have a whole video tutorial which is uh this video right here and how to do how to have that set up and i have another video where i go more in depth with all store that i'm probably gonna have that one instead of sharing it so you guys can see but for the server, you need to go to the App Store website. You gotta go down here, and you're gonna download. For me, I'm using Windows, and you're gonna download the server. I'm not gonna do that because, as you guys can see, I already have it running. But when you do this, you click on Download Server. You go here. You open uh, the installer, and you just gotta run the setup, and it will be set up for you after that. And you're gonna have one of the latest app installed. You click on your Windows key. You're gonna have this. I just put it here in my taskbar, and then you open it. It's gonna be running. But again, the full tutorial for that because you're gonna need um, you're gonna need some other apps to have this running. I recommend you to watch my uh, full tutorial. You're gonna have the best one shown on uh, right here on my screen. Because I have a couple of them doing that, so I'm gonna have the best one for you guys to follow. So after you do all of that and you downloaded the API and you have also already installed and running on your computer, you're gonna uh, again you download the API. You're gonna download the WireGuard app. So you're gonna go on your iOS device. You're gonna download this app. When you click on this link here, it's gonna take you directly to the uh, the Wire uh, WireGuard app on the app on the App Store. And then you're gonna need to download this, the WireGuard configuration file, because this will, uh, this has all the configuration necessary to connect to the, to the server, and it's gonna be done automatically for you when you in, uh, import that file inside of the WireGuard app. I'm gonna show you how to do this uh, from the my, my iPad when I connect it after we get to that next step. Another one that you're gonna need, you're gonna need a jitterbug pair. You're gonna need that app, so you gotta make sure you run and download. If you download this for the first time, you're gonna have this a warning. So make sure you click on the three dots right here, and you click on keep. We're gonna ask you, oh, you gotta make sure this is saved. You is not saved. We haven't checked. Blah blah blah. Keep anyway. That's a false false positive. It's because that app is not registered with Windows. That's why it's giving you those error messages. But you're gonna need this, and you're gonna extract this folder. You're gonna extract it. There you go, you're gonna extract it and you're gonna have this folder right here like this. Put it in a place where you're not gonna delete this folder because maybe you're gonna be using this a lot. So make sure you have that um, in a place that you could follow. You could even have it to your taskbar or you could put it on your uh, on your desktop. This file, do not touch any of this. You gotta make sure you have all of this here uh, because you're gonna need those two files in here. So do not delete anything, you're gonna need that. So I'm not gonna leave this right here because you guys I'm gonna show you what you need to do because you're gonna need this. So now I'm gonna go and plug in my iPad so you guys can see what I'm about to do. From my iPad perspective, I know this video is gonna be a little bit long, but trust me, you're gonna be thankful at the end of the day because if we run through any issues, I'm gonna fix it right now while doing the video. So you guys can see that this 
actually will 100% and probably they will answer any questions you have regarding uh, using the new, this new method. Uh, let me plug my iPad in. Let's go. Need to record from my iPad. Record from the iPad screen directly because otherwise I won't be able to show you what I'm trying to show you guys. All right, let's initiate the recording on the iPad screen. Let me plug in the iPad and I'm gonna have the iPad of course next to the, the screen so you guys can see. I'm gonna have it on my left side so you guys can see. Okay, after you plug in your iOS device, remember again, I'm gonna repeat it. You need to install Allstore in your iOS device. To install Allstore, you need to set it up. And I have a couple of videos. I'm going to put it here on the screen again. You need to follow those videos in order to go forward. If you didn't follow those videos to have this set up, you're going to run into a lot of issues. And I'm going to know if you guys follow the video or not, depending if you follow what I said to do on the video. So you, again, follow those videos. I'm going to have it again on the screen to set up all store first in order for this to work. All right. If it is the first time that you uploaded your iOS device to your computer, you're going to receive a message telling you if you want to trust the device that you just plug it in. Obviously, you guys can see I don't have the message right now because I trusted my device. So after you do that, you got to go in the folder that we downloaded, this one right here, the one we extracted. You're going to run this file right here. When you run this file, it might ask you again if you want to trust this device, meaning your, your iPhone or iPad will trust your computer. You just got to click on yes and run it again. It's going to ask you to enter your lock screen password. So right here, I'm going to run it. It's the first time so I'm going to run it from here. On my iPad screen, as you guys can see, asking me to trust it. I click on yes. It's asking me to enter my password for my lock screen. It's done. And now as you guys can see, it didn't generate the file. Now I'm going to run it again and it's going to generate a file that we're going to need. There we go. And as you guys can see, the file is generated right here on the top. That is a pairing file for your device. That's a unique ID that it will identify your device while you connect it on the on the site store service. So we're gonna need that. That's some that's very important. And let me say this right now before we're going forward. Each iOS device, iPad or your iPhone, or you have somebody else's device, has their own unique ID. For site store. When you run inside store, you cannot use the same pairing file. You have to use the pairing file generated from your device because again, each device has a different ID and if you're using a different file. For example, for me, I have an iPhone and I have an iPad. I, I, I did an accident earlier uh, before recording the video that I pair it with a file on my iPhone. So side store was going uh, berserk. It wasn't working properly. That was a mistake that I did, and that's what I'm saying. Again, each iOS device has their own pairing file. So if you're doing your iPhone and you generated this file, you gotta use that file on Site Store, not this file from somebody else or from another or your iOS device. It's gotta be the same one you just generated. So after you have also already installed, installed on your on iOS device, we're gonna go to my, to my other screen now. You're gonna go where it says my apps. You're gonna click on the plus sign and you're gonna look for where you have uh, downloaded this uh, the Site Store API. I made a folder. I'm actually gonna share this folder with you guys. I'm gonna have it on my Google Drive. So I'm gonna have it in a link down below in the video, uh, the video description so you can unlock all the files in one go. But again, those are the same files from the Site Store website. So I'm gonna look for it right now. What are you? When did I put it? There you go. So I, I made a I made a cycle here. Let me just fix this right now. Let's fix this right now. Actually, I fixed this later. 
so let me, let me open it up so this is where i got the file this is a site store i make i rename it site store nightly so you guys can know which version i'm using so that's how i'm gonna have it in the folder so i have everything here that you're gonna need i got the site store uh these two files right here on the top this one is depending which device are you using i'm using windows so i um i wouldn't use the, the windows version of it but it, i have the windows linux mac os version for the um, jitterbug pair to generate those files for you and as well i have a picture right here telling you to go to the store we, we already did that and the, uh right here is the configuration file which i already show you how to get that but I got included right here in this the download folder. So you're basically gonna click in here and you're gonna start installing it inside of all store, but <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that because I already got it running. So after you have that installed, we're gonna continue looking at my iPad screen right here. <clears throat> you basically gotta run and you're gonna open Side Store. Side Store, when you open it the first time, is gonna greet you with a message saying that you need to utilize your parent file right now you will not see that because it's already set up on my device but it's going to ask you to enter your parent file so when it does that you're going to click ok and you're going to locate your parent file inside of your my files app so when you do this file right here on my screen you could either do the following you could connect your uh, ios device to your computer and do a file transfer or you could send it to yourself, email it to yourself, and then just hold the file and save it. And you're gonna save it inside all right here, the files app. You're gonna save it right here, and you gotta make sure. So you for you to find it easily, uh, you just basically put it right here on the main screen or your uh, on my device for me is my iPad, and so you could find the file a lot easier. So after you connect the file, you're not done yet. To set this up properly you need to sign in of course it's going to be blurred out you need to be signed in with an apple id in order to sign the applications that you're about to install if you got to this point right here you already know because again you need like i mentioned before you need our store to be set up first and the way that you install that is by having your apple id inside our store in order to sign those apps for you to use so in this right here on site so you're going to be signed out so you need to sign in and it might send you a notification your device to pair it just um click on allow and enter the password after that if it is it is still showing that you're not signed in just close the app run it again and you will be able to be signed in so now at this point you will be able to install app just like um, you do on all store well now we're gonna set up wireguard which is uh, the bread and butter right here so you're gonna open the wireguard app inside the wireguard app you're gonna have you're gonna hit right here on to the plus sign you're gonna click on that plus sign and you're gonna say you're gonna look right here for these options in order to down uh, set up the file you downloaded the configuration file you downloaded so you're gonna click where it says create from file and it's gonna open the files app on your iOS device and you're gonna click on whatever you put it. That's why I recommend it to put it on the, on my on my, iP my iPad, my iPhone, right here on the screen right here so you could locate it easily. Or you could go on recent and it's gonna show this the recent stuff that you did on your iOS device. You will be able to find the file too. So to give you an example, I'm gonna delete this. And I'm gonna click on here. I'm gonna get that configuration file again. And there we go. Yesterday, configure. Oh no, this is not the configuration. I put it right here for me because I have a configuration. Actually, let me, let's just download it again so you guys can see. I'm gonna go on the iPad. We're gonna go to Side Store and we're gonna download that configuration file again in front of your eyes so you guys can see. So we're gonna click on right here, configuration file. Yeah, download. It downloaded WireGuard. We're gonna cancel here, post sign again, create from file, and we're gonna go on recent. That's a configuration file right there. I'm gonna click on it, click on allow. It's gonna ask you to enter your login password, and there we go. The configuration file is already set up. After that, you're not done yet. 
you're gonna go to settings you're gonna go and look for the app right here we're gonna look for side store we're gonna look for side store all right after you find side store you're gonna click on it right here this screen is uh, has the most important information in order for you to connect properly right here do not touch this option right here leave it alone but here this portal is going to be on disable it and you're going to type the following url inside the init url you need to type this exactly url in here to make this work properly after you're done there and you type that just close this i'm going to disconnect from my computer you heard uh i got disconnected now let me show you i'm on my regular wi-fi as you guys can see right here there's no vpn on so and right here on my computer screen look i'm closing the all server you wonder why i'm closing this if you're using also you need to have an all server running to install apps si uh, silo apps updates and running the jib to enable some of the apps so if that's not running it's not gonna work so that's why i turn it off now i'm gonna go to let's say i have this em let's find one of my emulators right here let's go in. let's use one emulator that people know about we're gonna use the dolphin dolphin you need to have jit enable in order to run the games so i'm gonna be using dolphin for this example here let's turn on my bluetooth real quick so i can connect my controller all right so i have a disable so this is perfect so i can show you something else too this is currently disabled so i'm gonna go to my apps i got dolphin disabled when you have a free account you can only have three apps active at the same time you cannot have more than three apps after the same time you're using a free Apple Apple ID. So in this case, as you guys can see, I have it disabled right here. So if I want to activate it or deactivate an app, you need to be on the Alstor server to do this in your local server. So you got to be in the same Wi-Fi as your device. Otherwise, you won't be able to put this to disable or enable it. So right now I show you I shut down my owl server and now I'm gonna click on Aptic check what happens I see as you see at the bottom we got an error because we're not using the outstore server to put that out to sleep and swap in so check this out I'm gonna close side store. Side store is closed. I'm gonna open WireGuard. I'm gonna connect to the server. VPN is on top. I'm already connected. I'm gonna close this. Side store. I'm gonna open side store. My apps. I'm gonna activate it now. We're gonna, you see, I got three apps like I got. I told you I'm using a free Apple ID so i cannot have more than three apps active so i'm gonna put this to sleep now you might see that error right there i'll let that happen so you guys can see how to fix that i'm gonna repeat it again so you guys can see it check this out my apps It's giving me this error. This is how you fix this error. These two errors that you guys saw, the AVC and the other error, this is how we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna email myself, and let me block this out so you guys don't see. I'm gonna email myself a new pairing file. Uh, of course, I'm gonna block this because I don't want you guys to see this. I'm gonna email myself the pairing file that I just created. I take this file, let's email it to myself. 
and inside size so you're gonna go here you're gonna go to settings reset pairing file reset the pairing file was reset it so i need to close this i'm gonna go on my email I'm gonna download a new pairing file you're gonna hold it save file my file I'm gonna put it on a folder I know that I'm using a separate file, so I don't know you using the same file I already have that long here. So I might just do that so we know what I just did. The reason why I put it there is because I want to make sure it's a different file, not the original file that I was using. So I'm gonna go to size store. Size so like I said from the beginning, it's asking for the file. Click OK. Remember I put it in this folder right here. So I'm going to locate it where I put it on the folder because I don't want to confuse it with another pairing file that I already have here. I'm going to click on another pairing file there. Now, we're going to activate this one. We're going to deactivate this app right here. If you continue getting this error after you have the pairing file connected, at least one of the errors is already out. You just basically need to do this. You need to disconnect from the server. Connect again. Open Site Store. My apps. Click on Activate. I'm gonna pull this one to sleep. It's already put to sleep and it's activating the all the app. You might get some crashes here and then, but let's go back to it. It put this one already to sleep. I'm going to activate Dolphin. I still got some profiles remaining. If it happens again, close this. It's just a connection error. Open size store again. My apps activate. You got this error, wire guard, disable it, enable it, side store, my apps, activate. As you guys can see, there's sometimes some connection error. The same thing was happening with your streamer that you just needed to disable the VPN, enable it, and then go back and it should be able to work. It's taking longer because it's restoring the backup because when you pull an app to sleep, it will hide all the folders uh, that were generated by the app. So it was restoring all those folders for me. So now Dolphin is available as you guys can see on my screen. We're gonna click on run. I have a game already set up there to test. I got Metal Gear, uh, the Twin Snake. If I click on the game, look what happens. What do you need to run the emulator? You need a jib. If you're using Dolphin, by the way, make sure you're using the beta version because if you're using the plain version, when you try to run the game, it just will crash. It won't, it won't tell you why it happened. The beta version tells you why it crashed because you need to have the G enable. So as you guys can see, it's asking for me to have a jib. So I'm gonna close the app. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna go back to Side Store. Check my computer again. No, all server running. Hold the emulator. Enable JIT. Okay. Click on the game. And it's running. And everything that I did here is all locally. The emulator is already running. The game is already running as well too. And it's us using only one app. Well, two apps. Saiso and WireGuard. So you could be connected directly to them. And the best part, after you set this up for the first time, guess what? When you need to refresh those apps that you see right here, you just click on refresh. You just need to be connected to the WireGuard. 
you gotta go inside our site store and you can refresh all of those apps and you can store more apps but remember if you're using a free apple id you can only have three at the app at the same time and that will consume some of your profiles right here you got 10 profiles so that means you can install i can install two additional apps but i can only have three apps available at the time so you could refresh your app from here you can install app from here you could use your streamer from here the only thing that you need is a wi-fi connection so it's a bit uh, complicated to get it to work properly not really it's just you just gotta be paying close attention to everything that i did and you gotta follow the tutorial steps by step so you could get everything up and running well guys uh that's what i wanted to show you and i've been waiting to show you this for a while because i needed to have something well stable so i could show you and walk you through it and as you guys can see this is working perfectly fine and i love it because after you set it up for the first time you guys are gonna love it too you don't need a computer because one of the biggest complaints i heard from everybody when i show you how to use all stories oh do i need to have the computer on all the time if i want to do this and that and i yes you do but with this you don't need to have a computer once you set it up the first time you're good to go that's the best part about using side store you have it set up you're good to go right after i'm gonna have a pdf tutorial for my youtube members and coffee supporter is gonna be available um if not today it's gonna be available the next day give me some time because i'm gonna put a little bit more detail on it and i'm gonna have a lot of pictures and walkthrough in there so you guys can see everything and solve any of the issues that will occur that you guys can see here i didn't cut the video i let it run in so you guys can see how i fixed that issue so very important for that and also you really like this content make sure to leave a like comment and you have a question and subscribe and if you would like to support me again you could become a channel member it's only 99 cents per month or you could just buy me a coffee and you're gonna have access that the thing that i'm doing right now for youtube members and coffee support is that i give you access to the same tutorial that i just did but it's gonna be this in a pdf form of the tutorial which is gonna be a little bit more clean so less stuff shown on the screen but it's gonna be straight to the point nice clean simple to follow anyway i hope this was very helpful to you guys i know you guys have been waiting for the jit streamer update and this one i think this is it right here this is all that we're gonna need so once again thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys on this one peace